video card is a beauty. Let me show you what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be showcasing my new line of dies called Gemini dies. They're kind of unique, so I think you'll see that they're really, really easy to use, but give you a lot of versatility on your cards. Let me uh, show you the one we're going to be using, along with the other products. This is the Lyra. Now these dies are unique in that they have two separate cutting edges and different designs on both sides, so you can change the way they look really easily. The uh, finishing touch, we're going to be using the new mosaic leaves. And I've got a dainty oval frame for my new frames and tag sets. For the floral element, the finishing touch is Camellia. This is the complete petal. It also comes with a matching open petal. And the stamp that we're going to be using is from the Celebrations uh, set from Creative Expressions. And the new Rambling Blossoms A4 embossing folder to give our um, card just a really nice little detailed embossed portion. Set those to the side. So I think the first thing we'll do is actually cut the die. We'll do the Lyra cutting. So I'm going to take this one in. And as you can see, I've got a single die here. Really, really pretty uh, design, very swirly and elegant, and two separate cutting edges that it goes with. So let's go ahead and line this up onto our card. And I'll put it right about there. I'm going to take the cutting edge and put it together and tape them in place. And just let me get them nice and straight. That looks good. Use a bit of that. Pop that off. Let me make sure I'm all the way on the card. Yes, I am. We're going to bring our cutting plate and our, emboss, our uh, base plate over. Pop this into place. Now, I always cut the long border dies going the same way as the cutting plates, so they cut better that way. I'm going to run this through our grand caliber. go. So you have a beautiful cut on there. I think we'll emboss it just to give a, bring out the, the detail and the beauty of that die. So I'm going to turn it over on my base plate with the cutting ridge up, put the tan embossing mat on and the pink embossing plate, and we'll run it through one more time. Okay, let me show you how pretty this is now. Remove my tape and we're going to take that bottom edge off of the card. And remember, you could actually use this for something else if you'd like in another project. We don't need it for today's card, but it's still quite pretty and you could use that. Remove the tape from that. We'll put that back onto our magnetic sheet so we don't lose it. And pop our Lyra die out of place here. Look at how pretty that is. I just think that's absolutely stunning. There's so many things you can do with that. So I'll set that to the side and we can clean our dies later. So the next thing I'm going to do is to emboss some card. I've got a piece of coconut white card here and my Rambling Blossoms embossing folder. So I'm going to pop that into place and let me get the plates that I need. The gray base plate with the raspberry adapter plate is the sandwich. I'm going to run this through the Grand Caliber. Okay. You can see the beautiful level of emboss on that uh, folder. Let me move these out of my way. Okay, so we can start to build our card now. I've got a base that I've done with a little bit of piercing. I've layered in some lavender card that will match in with my floral element. So we are going to use some mounting foam and just pop this into place. And this will be the base of our card. Let me get that centered there. That looks pretty good. And I've gone ahead and put a bit of uh, mounting foam onto the piece I cut previously. 
just to get that ready for us. I do like a little dimension in the cards. I think that adds an element of um, uh, just really nice um, look to your cards. So I'm going to match that up. Excuse me while I lean in just a little bit. I'm going to match up my corners there. So you can see I've just started to build up the card. The Lyra die has been cut and you can see the pretty embossing coming out from underneath that. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is show you some flowers. I've gone ahead and cut a few of the Camellia Complete Petal Set. Just to dress it up and give it a little bit different of a look, you can take a white gel pen and you can add some, just some little vein looking um, marks across each petal. And as you can see, we're really, really simple. Little, little threesome on each of those. Nothing um, difficult about that. But it does change the way that that uh, flower is going to look. And then I've done a couple more here. I'm going to use some of the Dusty Concord Distress Ink just to give the edges of these a little bit of a highlight. Tone the colors in together. There's that. We'll do all of these while we've got it ready to go. There's another one. You can see it's just, just a tiny bit of color on the edge of these. Okay, pop that to the side. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring in a um, foam pad that I'm going to use the, a little bit of a ball stylus and give these some dimension. And I'm just going to go through and rub the back of the petals and form them and give them some shape. And then just right in the center there. And you can see it kind of goes upward like that. Now what I like to do is pinch them a tiny bit too. I think that just gives a really pretty look to my flowers. We can add a little bit of Cosmic Shimmer glue so it gets ready and starts to get a little bit tacky and we'll work on to the next one. And I like the way these layer up really, really nicely. You've got um, five petals here but they'll offset and become really, really pretty together. A little bit of pinching on there. And we'll just lay this one on like that. Give it a second and if you want you can even just take a little pin and hold them together like that. And we'll do the other ones here. We've got two more smaller ones. And it's totally up to you with these flowers. You can do one, two, you can layer up different sizes. You can stack one of different sizes all together and get different looks. And there's so many different ways that this flower can be done. It's really, really versatile. Pinch these a little bit. You put a little bit of a glue there. we're going to pinch this. So you've got a really nice look coming about here. I'm going to pop this one into place and put a little more glue here and we'll set this one offset to that. And then I'm just going to put this pin back in the center of that and give it a second to, to secure and you'll see it. There we go. Hold that into place and that'll the glue will dry and set up really nicely and you can add a pearl into the middle of that. I've also got a sentiment from our sentiment set that I'm going to cut with the center of the dainty frame. It comes in separate pieces. This one is a um, decorative cutting piece without an edge so I'm going to use the matching edge with it. So I'm going to layer this up over our sentiment and just get it nice and straight in place there. Pop that on. And we'll run this through and give it a quick cut. And we're going to do some inking with this one as well. You can probably just go forward and back on this. Let's see. That looks very, very nice. Now, what I want to do with this is a little bit different. I only want to ink the very center of this. So what I'm going to do is just put a bit of the removable tape all the way around the edge and cover up all of the bits that are exposed that would be getting the ink if I inked it directly this way. So I'm just going to make sure I keep the center of that completely exposed and ink up the outside, or excuse me, cover up the outside. Move that over a little bit. That should do that. 
get around that corner. And I think I've got that nice and covered on all my cut bits, except for the center there, okay? So I'm gonna go back to my Distress Inks. This is your Dusty Concord again. And I'm just gonna give it a light inking all the way around the edge. It's a nice highlight for those um, sentiments and it draws your eye in on your cards. There we go, that should be enough. Let's see how we've done. Now these tapes I probably would not reuse because they do have ink on them. There we go, so we'll put those in our bin. Take this piece off. Pull that out. See so you have a, a really pretty sentiment piece there with just the ink in the center of it. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of mounting foam to that. We're gonna raise that up for dimension and put that on our card. Let's bring that back over here. And I'm gonna put that right about there. Now I went ahead and made several of these flowers up so they'd be ready to go. And using some glue dots, I can put them into place. I like using glue dots to attach my flowers for a couple of reasons. If you use glue and you're not happy with the arrangement, the glue dot will kind of allow you to move it around a tiny bit so you can be sure you've got it exactly where you want it. So I think I'll place that one about right there. And I'll put a smaller one just off to the edge of that. Get this third one, which is, I think I'll put a really tiny one up here up in the corner, just off the edge of that. And I've got some leaves that I've cut, so I'm gonna go ahead and tip them underneath the edge of that, just as little accent pieces. And my mosaic leaf that I cut previously. In fact, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just nip this and do a couple little bits. One like that, one like that. It's nice how you can cut the die cuts up so they're different the way you put them on. I'm going to tip that right under the edge there, coming off of that flower, and use the other little bit, bit down here. And let me just tidy that little tiny bit where I cut it. There we go. So we can have that coming down a little lower. I think that's really pretty. And a few more leaves to finish this one off maybe right about there. This is the part you can play with with your own creations and put them exactly where you want them. I think sometimes that's the fun of making the cards that you get to kind of play around with what you've got and make it look any way that suits your personal preferences. So that's not too bad. I think that's really quite cute. So you've got a really stunning card, not a lot of effort. Your Lyra die gives you something that, that draws the eye in and gives you an interesting look. And if you want to remake the card and turn that die around, get a completely different look to it, you can do it with the new Gemini dies.